Hey guys, it's Banner. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we took out both the Fighting Gym and the Psychic Gym, and now we're going to beat the Poison Gym. Here's a gimmick. You see all these dots? They're invisible walls. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying to spot them out on a tiny Game Boy screen. But anyway, so we got a juggler. He has a drowsy. Uh, isn't this the poison gym? Why you got a psychic type? Yeah, now you may notice a bit of weird consistencies. The psychic gym has poison type and the poison gym has psychic types, and holy crap, I never expected that. Well, he didn't expect that, so. Also, Snoozer is the lowest level person on my team. No clue how that happened. He's got Kadabra! <coughs> I know technically it's the ninja gym, but that doesn't count. Seriously. No, don't do that. You know what's actually the strangest part? Is that there's another person with three drowsies and a Kadabra. There's another person with a Hypno. There's someone with an Arbok and a Sand Slash. There's someone with two Arboks and a Sand Slash. And then you got the gym leader that uses only poison types! So the only other poison types is that there's three Arbox somewhere in this gym, but... Also, this guy's hair... ...blends in with the ground! You know, strategy is... ...the best way to win, which is what... Except, the thing is that Mega Revolutions... ...in 6th Gen kind of are a way to make power. Seriously, a lot of these Mega Revolutions, especially Mega Mora, holy snap, that's gonna get put straight into the um, highest tier. There it is. Body slam that hypno. Oh, sweet, he's paralyzed. And yes, he, he is paralyzed again. Now, to be honest, with this gym, it's not a confusing layout. Oh, snappy, you psychic, now I'm dead. Dead, I want, I want to keep Suzu alive for a while. Speed for you, take the care of Tap. So yeah, it's not that confusing of a layout, really. Because all you have to do is really just head around the middle a bit. And then you're all good. And there's only six trainers to deal with instead of seven. Also, yes, most convenient Pokemon Center yet. Seriously, that is ridiculously close. I also need Moopy to level up. I haven't been using him that much. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna put Moopy out front. Because I think Moopy, Moopy needs a bit of leveling. I know Snoozer is the lowest level, but... I think Snoozer's okay. Except his special stat sucks in this game. I don't know why, it's absolutely terrible right now. I wanted to become a ninja, so I joined this gym. Yeah, okay, good. Good on you. You're a juggler. Your role is to juggle. Juggle your balls. Drowsy. So this is the guy with the three drowsies and a cadaver. Again, we haven't seen any poison types this gym. We have seen... This is the fourth po uh, psychic type. We will see. There are more psychic types than poison types in this gym. And there are almost as many poison types as psychic types in the previous gym. Seriously, the fighting gym is very consistent. Just mankeys and chops. What? How could you go wrong? Crits! Crits, I love him! Oh no, he's got a Kadabra! He's got a bob -omb. I don't even know. Oh, Kadabra is faster. Psybeam, those laser. Hate it. I hate it, and crits, and then I miss, and then he recovers when I haven't hit him, and then he dies in one hit. I don't even know. Moopy, you need the levels. You need the levels, because you are technically weaker than everything else, except sometimes you kill everything quickly. And this confusion will confuse me. No, it didn't. Okay, good. Oh, 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 this confusion will confuse me. 
Nope. But I will miss and he will poison gas me and now I'm poisoned. And now I will die. Unless the slam hits him. Nope. That was absolutely beautiful. That was beautiful. You presented opportunity to me and it didn't work. You know what's the worst part? Oh. He didn't get to hit me. Ah! Oh no, I can't sleep. Isn't that like three meters? Dream Meter is a funky move that we haven't actually covered in this game yet. Uh, Dream Meter is a move that you can teach to Ghost Side Pokemon, and it basically makes it so that they um, if your if your opponent is asleep, it sucks a lot of health out of them and puts them onto yours like Mega Drain, except it's very strong and it's also poison type. It's a Tamer. He has an Arbok. Finally, poison type. Not the not the sneakiest. Poison type, but apparently with Arbok, it's uh, I don't know what part of the cobra is a bit underneath its head that's still kind of like stretched out. That's supposed to be a face that's supposed to scare people. Not not specifically people who are playing this game, but just people in general. Sand slash. Now sand slash is awesome. Sand Slash is good for a ninja gym. I know it's not poison type, but he's more ninja than friggin' Kadabra. Drowsy. Drowsy's not a friggin' ninja. Sand Slash is. Uh, he's gonna uh, Arbok, so yeah. Arbok! You know, you use Screech, but you never follow through. Never follow through. So you know how I said it's just like, oh, I hope we'll beat the gym in time for us to proceed on. Yeah. Now you can't kind of head on the inside here and fight this guy a bit earlier. That's not going. That's, that's another dude. There is one more trainer, and I would like to get rid of him before I fight Koga, but I don't know. He does have two Pokemon, so he, I may be able to do it, but... Drowsy! Drowsy, you are one level weaker than me. So this is what I meant, like, I didn't want to fight this guy right away. The Safari Zone, seriously, don't worry about what level they are, because you don't you do not do anything about the Pokemon. He's about to send Hypno! Oh no! Hypno, Hypno! Poison Gas! Oh no! If only I was resting. By the way, one thing I love about rest is that it's always a three-turn rest. Unless you switch out. Or the battle ends in some way. If you stay in battle, you... You wake up after three turns. And that's one thing I love. Is that you can always plan some kind of attack. Also, in the newer games, uh, I think Generation 2, you wake up in the same turn you attack. So you don't exactly know when you're going to wake up. Uh, however, with rest, you have two full turns of resting, and then on the third turn you wake up and attack. Whereas in this game, in this game, you have one full turn of resting, you have one turn where you wake up, and then you can attack. So yeah. Uh, honestly, the layout of this gym isn't that bad. All it is, is just you walk around in a bit of a maze-like pattern. And it's a bit tough to see, especially on a Game Boy that's not in color. Because the blue kind of stands out from the purple a bit more than grey stands out from other grey. Blue. So this guy has a Sand Slash and an Arbok. Also, he's got Poison Sting, so I guess it counts as a ninja. I keep paralyzing him! I don't know how I'm doing that! That's not gonna kill him. Poison Sting! Oh no! What if I'm poisoned? But I'm not. It's okay. Everybody, it's a false alarm. Uh, yeah, to be honest, Poker's Gym, it's a bit here and there, you know, they're kind of high level, they're all 34-ish. Uh, Koga himself, jeez, he's high. He's got high levels. He's, he's not high. Glare, that's an instant paralysis mode, by the way. I think, I think Armok is the only one that learns that. What was on level 36? Snoozu needs those level ups, but also, also... New me needs it. Moopy needs it. Did I say new me? I meant Moopy. 
Loopy. Didn't I name Pokemon my not quite finished Diamond Let's Play? Which, to, to be honest, if I ever were to Let's Play more Pokemon games, which I'd also like to do all of them in kind of order, so if I were to Let's Play another Pokemon game, I would do Yellow. And I know that's kind of weird, because it's just like, isn't that the same as playing this game, except just some of the layouts are different? Yes! Pretty much. Pretty much, most of the trainers are exactly the same. Some of the uh, enemy spawns are different. Enemy spawns. Some of the um, wild Pokemon locations are different. Uh, a lot of the move sets are redone, pretty much. There's no new mu new moves though. I don't know. Anyway, we're about to fight Koga. I'm gonna send Moopy out first, because why not? Also, yeah. For a mere child like you, who dares to challenge me? Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel the despair of poison and sleep techniques. I understand sleep techniques as well, that's a good thing, it's just... And I see that in hypnosis and stuff, and cadaver and stuff. But the thing is that... Come on, there's a lot of grass poison types that... Like, seriously, use file plume. That's a grass poison type. I can learn sleep powder. Uh, coughing. Uh, this coughing knows tackle, smog, sludge, and smoke screen. And that was a pretty good crit. And it's level 37. He, he also, he actually knows two coughings that know this moveset. And are both level 37, so pretty much you're gonna have to deal with that twice. Um, it's a bit there just to stall your time. Uh, now he's also got a muck. The muck is level 39, it knows disable, poison gas, minimize, and sludge. I don't want it to use minimize. Sludge is kinda annoying though, but well, this is not minimize. Oh boy, that's a crit, and of course it did that. Well, it's not like I can win now. <laughs> May as well just thunder wave him. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, let's see, who would be good for this? Uh, Snoozer. Snoozer, we'll use you, because Snoozer can just rest off the poison. If it's sleep though, I can't guarantee anything, but... So yeah. No, he, he does no minimize, which may be the most annoying thing ever. Hey, you got this minimize. I think this is the only game where actually it, it makes a different sprite when you use minimize. Oh my gosh, stop using X attacks and actually attack me if you're gonna do something. Okay, well, you just wasted two X attacks. Good on you. Good on you, Koga. Loopy's now level 38, which is awesome. Uh, now he's gonna send out his other coughing. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, pretty much. Body slam! Oh no, he's got smoke drink. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, I can't body slam because he smoke screen me. I can't body slam because he smoke screen me. Oh uh, no, not smog. Now I can body slam. Body slam is always good. Okay, come on. Come on, body slime. There you go. And now he's got his final Pokemon, Weezing. Holy snap, this Weezing. It's level 43. It knows Smog Sludge, Toxic, and Self-Destruct. Yes, this, this Pokemon can just bite the dust if it feels like it. But he knows Toxic. Toxic is a terribly good attack. As in, it poisons you, but it badly poisons you, which means you take more damage than normal. Of course, you could just use Guillotine and it worked, and kill him. But seriously, if he uses Self Destruct, holy snap, you are doomed. But he gives you this old badge, so I'm okay with that. So, apparently, the defense of your Pokemon increases. In this game, some of the badges actually do secondary effects, such as that. Uh, he also gives you the TM for Toxic, which is awesome. Also, I'm poisoned, but you can't tell because the screen is supposed to flash that color, whereas the white parts. But there's no white parts. Uh, so anyway, guys, so we defeated Koga. I'm actually going to cut the part of... Loopy, you died. <laughs> someone else is poisoned, I think I'm... Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, um, Grabber. Uh, so yeah. So 
But yeah, so there are a couple of things you can do before. Actually, there, there's one thing you can do. If you need more training, by the way, if you're having trouble with this uh, gym, just uh, fight everyone on the roots, because level 43 is pretty high, and that's why I was a little bit uh, hesitant to head into this place immediately. So, yeah. Um, other than that, though, I'm going to end the part off here. I know it's a bit shorter than pretty much the 50 minute long other episodes, but I'm going to end off here, because, you know, we beat a gym. Yeah, we spent the last part beating a gym, so... Okay, well, I'll see you guys next time. See you guys then. Do, 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 do,